How to make a poster in Canva step by step. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you guys how you can create posters in Canva. So let's get started. Now, everyone knows about Canva and the multiple opportunities that you can create with their designs. You can take one design like this and change it into multiple different elements. So in this particular video, I'll go into detail about poster creation, the different things that you can create on posters, and how you can incorporate your own images into Canva posters. So let's get into it. Now the first thing you might want to do is go into the search bar on Canva and search for a poster. Now over here you have two types of posters. You have a three portrait sized posters, you also have double sided landscape posters. There are multiple different variations of posters and you can simply search for a poster template. You will see there are quite a few different types of posters. Now if I search for posters specifically in research, so let's say these are research based posters, I can choose one of these. If you want something a bit simple, simply search for an infographic poster where you're going to be able to enter your own information. Now with Canva, I recommend that you take into account what type of design I want to create or you want to create. So let's say I want to create a poster for my style and design class. So I'm just going to look for basic poster templates and you can see there are some really nice simple ones and you will see that the standard size for a poster is A3. So if you don't like any of the templates, you don't have to pick them out, but a simple poster like this can be super helpful for most people that are just trying to build out, the, you know, tiny printout flyers and you're trying to post them around your neighborhood. For that, you can use a simple template like that. But if you still want to customize, I'll show you guys exactly how. So for that, click on create blank poster. Your blank poster design size is going to be just an A4 paper. Now from here, you're going to zoom in and the first step that you want to do is you want to go into uploads on the left and you want to upload any files that you might want to insert. So if there are any images, let's say I have these seven images that I might want to include, I can upload all of those over here. Now as they are uploading, I can begin with the design. The first thing you're going to do is select the canvas and choose a color because when you have a blank canvas, it can be super overwhelming to build on it. So just pick out any color that is just not white and preferably pick out a color that you want to use in your design. So this is a dull pink that I would like to use. Now, once I've done that, I would go into something like elements and I will search for a page. Once I search for a page, there are a few different pages. I think instead of page, I'm just going to go into shapes and pick out a square shape. Once you pick out your square shape, you can place it like this and expand it like so and just make sure to place it at the center. Now, what this allows me to do is that it easily creates a canvas within my canvas. So now I have this really nice border and I can decrease the size of this to increase the overall sizing of the border. So I'm going to expand this up a little like this and now this is perfectly centered. Once done, I can go back into elements and I will search for branches. Now this is because of the type of poster I am building. It's about design and style. So I want to offer classes for styling and that is going to be very interlinked with, you know, these types of elements so I can easily include these. So I will be including this little branch over here like so and I think I'm going to place this on the top and I can click on flip. I'll flip this vertically like this. Now, once I have flipped this, I can go into my magic recommendations to see similar recommendations. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the similar recommendations and look for items that are similar, but not exactly the same element. So I can include another flower on the bottom. Now, once this is complete, we can take something like these petals and we can expand them over here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the expanded petals like this and do Command C and then Command V. And then I'll place the rest of them like this. Then I will click on these elements 
and I might want to crop these because I don't want the entirety of the element to you know be present at the bottom so for that you can open a particular element up and for images you can click on edit image and then click on crop and then I will reduce the size or I might even want to reduce like the first two florals and the bottom two florals like this and then I'll just click on done and now I can place them right over here now once I've completed my placement I will click on the transparency and make these pretty transparent like this because I don't want these to be super obvious these are going to just be lightly printed in the background so once completed I have a basic design for my poster now it's time to include my own images. If I go directly into upload and just put the image like this, that's not going to look good. So for my particular poster, I'm going to go back into elements and search for frame. Once you search for frame, you're going to find this section called frames. In this, you have multiple different types of shapes that you can pick out from. And you can pick out any shape that fits the best with your design element. So I might want to use something that's a bit chic and nice. So I can use something that has this kind of frame around it. And I can change the frame color to fit in with the rest of my colors. So, you know, for the photo colors, you can pick those out. But what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to search for a slightly different frame like this one. Once done, I will simply go back into my uploads and take this image and drop it over here. Then I will reposition the image by double clicking on it and now I can place it over here. Now after I've done that, I can go into text on the left and then click on add a heading. From here, you can add the main focal point of your particular poster. So what is the purpose of your poster? Let's say this is going to be Lily's style horse like this. Once I've done that, I can pick out the font from the top left. There are quite a large array of fonts available and they are going to be pretty much suitable for any industry. You can really find something that's casual. You can find super formal fonts as well. You can also find a lot of, you know, Pinterest inspired fonts as well. So I'm going to be picking out this particular font and then I'll just place this text over here, Lily's style course. And because this is the main element, I think I'm going to reposition my image a little, maybe make this centered over here and on the top i will add a bit of body text and you can even use some of these font combinations provided by canva so with these font combinations you have super interesting headlines that you can write but i will be using some simple text to add my contact number and whatever is your contact number address like this and then we're going to just reposition it and place it on the top left alongside the image or you can place it on the bottom left if you're doing you know your image like this but because i'm doing the image on top i will place this on top as well and use the same font as my title below that you can add a bit of subheading text and you're going to place it right at the center and once you do that you can add the information about your course so this course will help you in styling yourself and accurately predict your body shape and color season like this. And once I've inserted my description, I can change the font for this as well and add some more style elements if I want. Now make sure to include your contact info or business info whenever you're making posters and just like that our poster is complete. Now this is just a one-sided poster. If you're building something like a two-sided poster which are usually brochures rather than posters you can simply click on duplicate page and duplicate the page on both sides. Once completed just click on share on the top right and then click on download and that is how you can build a quick and easy poster on Canva. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe.